What's going on y'all? Welcome back to Muddy Throttle Off-Road. So, if you've seen our last video, we showed y'all the leveling kit that we went with. We went with the Thern 2.5 soft ride coils with the King 2.5 shocks. We finally got some beautiful wheels and tires on this thing. So we went with the Ridge Grapplers wrapped on the brand new Hostile Diablo Dually Wheels. These just came out this year. Super sweet. Y'all definitely got to check these wheels out. If you're looking for something to stand out, stand out a little bit from what everyone's been doing, this is definitely a cool way to go. We got some 20 inch Hostiles. We went with the Satin Black because if y'all watch Mighty Thrall Off-Road, you know that I do not like Chrome. We had to settle with some of these billet accents on there but other than that it's a straight black look so in order to keep the towing capacity on these trucks because these things are built to tow pretty heavy we went with a different size tire than your traditional 35 12.5 that you, people usually go with so in order to do that we went with the 295 65 20s and what does that mean who knows what a 295 is right what in tarnation? What in elevation? What in quadratic equation? What in mummification? What in hand-eye coordination? What that means for these ridge grapplers is that it measures at a 35.1 height and it's actually an 11.8 width. So the downside is that you'll have a little bit of gap between the tires more than you usually would if you went with like a 12.5 or a 13.5, but what it means is that you're gonna keep your towing capacity. What's going on y'all, Magged Up here. So I just wanted to throw this in here and give y'all a little bit better of a breakdown now that I'm not melting in 106 degrees with hellish humidity. Anyway, if you wanna take a look at the 295 to 65 tire, You'll see that the overall diameter is 35.12 with a width of 11.77. So if you wanna compare that to the 35 by 11 and a half there, you'll see that the 35 actually measures out at 34.76 for both the 11 and a half width and the 12 and a half width. And you'll see the respective widths of 11.42 and 12.52. So you're actually not getting a true 35 when it comes down to diameter. I mean, it's it's a small difference. It comes down to like a quarter of an inch, but still something to think about. The biggest highlight that I really wanted to point out was if you look at the maximum load. So if you pick up a 35 by 11 and a half R20 you're looking at 35.25 per tire at 80 PSI and for 35 by 12 and a half you're looking at about 36.40 at 80 PSI whereas with the 295.65 you're getting 4080 at 80 PSI so when you compare it to the 11.5 you're looking at an extra 500 pounds per tire which does add up so Anyway, something to think about. Wanted to throw this in. Hope it helps somebody. Back to the video. Definitely loving these. You got your rear set up here. And up front, you got your traditional dually front wheel. I don't know what the offset is on that, but it looks pretty sweet. It's a negative 221 offset on the rear. I don't remember what the fronts are, but it looks good. We got some spike lug nuts on there. I already got a couple rock chips on the truck, so we went with these Husky brand squash guards on the front to kind of help with the rock chippage. Other than that, Ridge Grappler 295 20s wrapped on hostile 20 inch wheels. Let us know what y'all think in the comments. No, rock chip, rock chip, rock chip.
This thing's three weeks old. Yeah, but luckily this rock chip is on the protecting guard. <laughs> yeah, but I think it ate through it. Well, that's the day. If anyone has a, uh, what's it called? PPF. If anyone has PPF on their truck, tell me if it's worth the seven grand because I really don't want to pay it, but I also don't like rock chips. So anyway, muddy throttle off road, new wheels and tires. Thanks for watching. Skin of throw is a bitch. <laughs> um, yeah, I agree. <laughs>